Hey everybody, um, this is Ms. Kinzer, first grade. Uh, I am starting a video to show you all how to maneuver around um, Pearson Realize. That is our, that's our uh, math website for most of um, first grade's assignments are on. Right now I'm going to share my screen with you all to show you what I will be looking at. Um, right now I am on um, Pearson Realize's homepage where I am going to put my login information and password. Most of that information was sent to you all. Um, now the first page that you'll see is your intro page. You'll click my work and you have an assignment. I will get started on my assignments. Um, it says deep sea or out of space representation. Um, survey your family. Would you rather explore deep sea or out of space? Take a picture of your representation and send it through class tag or email or text, however um, you prefer to get in contact with your teacher. Um, answer questions two through three. Complete um, daily practice, watch the data, and survey, surveys video. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to number one. Um, number one's assignment says, it says deep sea or outer space representation. Use the data we collected from this question. Would you rather explore the deep sea or outer space? Now it says use the data that we collected. We hadn't been in school all week. So that's why we say to do a survey on your family. Um, now I'm going to come, come back to my video. I did a survey on my family and this is my findings. Um, the survey that I did and the, what I collected, um, I collected the data and I used their names. You can use check marks, smiley faces, um, tally marks, or however, which way you would like to collect your data. And this is how I represented my data. Just my data. I'm gonna go back and share my screen with you all. Um, number one says on a, uh, on a separate sheet of paper, make a representation of your data. Well, with the data that you collected from asking your family, you need to make a representation. A representation is a picture, something to show. And when you show something off, you want to let people what, know what you asked. And if they look at your representation on your paper, they wouldn't have to ask you, what is this about? They'll know all about it because it will include a title, labels, maybe pictures if you like, um, tally marks, an equation to let you know. Um, this, this is my representation. I made sure I had a title, outer space or deep sea. My labels, outer space or deep sea. With outer space, I represented my um, data using stars because most of the time in the nighttime sky, there's stars um and also in outer space in the deep sea there's lots of sea creatures but i chose to use jellyfish four people wanted to explore outer space and three people wanted to explore the deep sea i have an equation at the bottom four people wanted to explore uh, outer space three people were the deep sea and that was a total number of seven people that were in my survey I'm gonna go back to um, Pearson Realizes website and I am going to show you um, number two. And I also said on the separate sheet of paper, you need to take a picture of that and send it to your teacher through class tag, text, or email, however um, way your parents contact with your teacher. Uh, it says, what did you find out from your survey? For my survey, it says tap to type. Now, if you're on a tablet or um, an iPad, there's sometimes a little microphone on your keypad and you can touch that or tap that uh, and say what you like to say and it will just pop on right on up in that box but right now i'm working on my um laptop so i have to type my um my response in and from my data i found that four people wanted to explore um, outer space and three people wanted to explore the deep sea. 
Um, that's what I found out. Number three says, what surprised or interested you from your representation? What surprised me is that more people wanted to explore wanted to explore outer space than the deep sea. Wish more people wanted to um, explore the deep sea instead of outer space. Now, once you finish um, number one, number two, and number three, you'll see a green check mark there at the bottom of your, um, the bottom right-hand corner. And that says, are you sure Are you sure you want to turn in your work? I feel like I'm done. I took a picture of my representation. I'm going to turn it in. And once you finish with that, you can click the exit and you'll have a check mark on your assignment one. Assignment two says daily practice. Daily practice. Um, here on daily practice, you're practicing um, telling time to the half hour. It says read each clock and write the time. Um, we don't have a pencil. You can't write on your iPad or tablet with a pencil, or you can't write on your screen with a pencil. So we have a toolbar here that you can use to write down your um, answers. Here, this is a pencil. Here's your eraser if you mess up. I'm going to choose color red because I don't see orange and I feel like it's closer to orange. Orange is my favorite color. Um, number one, I'm going to look at the time. First thing I'm going to do is look at the hour hand. The hour hand is between one and two. It's not quite at the two yet, so I'm going to go back to one. I'm going to look at the minute hand. The minute hand is that long blue hand, and it's directly on the six. If that minute hand is directly on the six, that lets me know that it is half past the hour. Half past the hour means 30 minutes have passed. Or I can use the, in the five-minute intervals five and start at the one five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty one thirty or half past one and if when you write your response and, and your writing is a little uh shaky because of you're using the mouse it's okay as long as we can see it the time is one thirty i'm gonna look at number two. First thing i'm gonna do is look at the hour hand the hour hand is between four and five so it is four o'clock because it's not quite, quite five yet. So I'm gonna put four here. And that minute hand is directly on a six. That means that 30 minutes have passed. You see, Ms. Kinzer is not perfect at this either. Um, uh, let's say that I've made a mistake. Here's the eraser. You can erase. Thirty. Okay. Um, now, if you're working and you feel like, you're, or your mom calls you and says, it's time for lunch, it's time for dinner, you can always go back to it. You can always exit and come back to it. It will save your work. It will show a check mark, but you know that you hadn't completed. You can always go back and finish your work. And what you've done before is still there. See? I'm gonna go on out and come and complete that later. Um, also on here, there is a parent letter. And this parent letter, it shows um, other activities that you can do at home. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool since we are at home right now. Um, you could do more survey questions. It says, um, will we see more trucks or buses as you're riding um, on the road if you're being careful going out right now? um trucks or buses do you see more trucks or buses and then i see this this last one says will you see more cars trucks or buses usually we've been doing um lately we've been doing survey questions that had two choices this one has three um so i feel like that's a little challenging or it's a uh, um a, a good one because we've been mostly doing survey questions with two and then more or less, how many more? You could ask how many more um, trucks were there than cars? How many more buses were there than trucks? And after you finish the um, letter, 
you can go ahead and go out and exit and that will give you a check mark as well that you've completed reading the um, parent letter and here number four um parents if you would like your students to or your your children to look at this before they do the assignment it's okay as well or you can wait to the end here is like a quick review of our math words data and su survey and what they are it gives you an example of how a student um should take um collect data and represent um their data in a representation um we've we've talked about this in class this is marta she's asking her classmates um they had a dog um do they have a dog or not and marta she used uh, she had a class list she used yes and no on mine i just wrote their names um however way you want to collect your data is your choice now when marta um marta represented her data she used like a chart kind of like a t-chart we call it a t-chart because it crosses over and goes down like a t and we have two sections um marta showed her representation she has um seven people uh, have a dog and 13 people do not have a dog you see she put an x above her dog marta also has a um, equation to represent how many people were in her um, survey and on this last page it tells uh, it says think of some people you know um do they own a dog write your data in the table so here is another quick survey and you can answer um for example three people have a dog uh seven people do not have a dog and you'll build your equation down here as well um and there's that green check once you're finished you can turn it in i'm just going to pretend that i have my information here and look there's that draw pad here you can use the pencil i'm just going to say for an example three people and then i said seven maybe i'm using tally marks to um with my data Quick and simple, how many people have a dog? Three. One, okay, that's a little cute three. Uh, how many people do not? Seven, and I will build my equation. Three, seven. Three plus seven equals a total of 10 people. 10 people responded to my survey question. And now I am done, so I am gonna turn this in. So I've checked that, I turned it in, I'm gonna go to the exit. And now I should have four check marks. Now I am ready to turn it in to my teacher. And once you hit that button, your teacher has your assignment. And if you feel like moving around on this side uh, anymore, if you go to press the tool button, it'll take you to games. And here we have games that we've played in the classroom. I see five, um, five in a row roll and record down here at the bottom roll and record um five in a row subtraction how many am i hiding most of these fun games that we played in the um, classroom um so when you finish your work there's extra um, fun things on this site to do as well and go ahead and exit when you're done I hope that was helpful for everyone. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, my parents, uh, feel free to contact me. I'm sure that um, Mrs. Contrell and Mrs. Boyd doesn't mind um, anyone contacting them if they need any help.